this is Shapeshifter, and um, as you can see, it's a very beautiful design that just looks absolutely amazing. It has two afterburners, two air intakes, um, really nice looking design, but the, the reason why this plane is so special is because of its variable sweep wing design. You can fold in the, you can fold in the wings like that and fold this tab over inside of the wings to lock it in place. This is taking a while. Okay, there. So, with those tabs locked in place, the plane can now fly a little bit faster, but it's not quite as uh, maneuverable, I, I think. I haven't really thoroughly tested this, but I do know it can fly pretty nicely. And it can look beautiful while doing so. This is a very beautiful looking design. And yeah, so good luck folding Shapeshifter. All right, to fold Shapeshifter, you're first going to fold your paper in half, just like this. Then you can unfold the paper and fold the other uh, corner to corner. And now you're going to take this flap right here and you're going to fold it to along the crease, just like that. You're going to now flip it over and do that on this side so that you have this square and then you're going to open up the middle just like that and create a water bomb base. Perfect. Now Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this little piece and just you're going to fold it along this edge right here. You can do it how Jason Merrill does it, where he folds all of the layers. I don't like doing that. It's just a lot of creases that I don't like. So yeah, just do that on the other side now. And there we go. Now you're just going to collapse the paper with the flap up like that. You can see how the flap's up. You can flip it over. We're going to transfer this side over to the other side. And now you're going to open this up along and just open up the flap, just like that. Unfold and do that to this side. So now you're just going to open that up. You can put this up right here and you're going to take these two creases and you're going to put them into the center and you're going to create a new crease right here and here. So just like that. You don't need to do it simultaneously, but it won't lie flat if you don't. So you kind of need to do them in quick succession. So 
So there, you can just lie this flat now and, and kind of just fold those fold these in or just not in fold them just kind of flatten them out there and now we're going to uh, unfold that fold this little top portion down unfold that and now we're going to use we're going to use this crease right here and just kind of pop that open and then pinch these two sides reform these two creases up here and then use these ex existing creases right here on the sides just kind of lie that flat And then you can just open this up. Perfect. And then lie that flat. Now we do need those, those layers separated for the wings so that we can crease the wings because it's a lot harder to, to do that it's not creased. So you're first going to make a, you're now going to make a crease from this point, like down here, so that it's this, this edge right here should land on the center crease. Just like that. Just doing a simple inside reverse fold. Then you're going to do that on the side as well. We can worry about the back layers later. Just make sure that those flaps are on the center. And <clears throat> so now that you have this, you're going to just fold this up. I'm gonna use this and just kind of crease that. Uh, you can stop creasing to where it feels thicker right here. You can see the thickness change, you can feel it. Or you could just crease all the way through and just create more, more crease than you need. But what matters is this part and this part. Just gonna do that to this side as well. And now you're going to fold this, you're just gonna, you're not gonna flatten this part, you're just going to make a crease from, you can make it all the way or you can make it from there, from that little, crease right there from from doing that you can fold that over just like that and then you can do that to this side as well for consistency I'm just gonna crease all of it and now you have um three reference references to work with you're going to fold this over and you this is going to be a perpendicular fold so this edge is going to land on that edge this edge is going to catch there and also it should the crease should pass through that point just like that now you can do that to this side
All right. So now you can just unfold all of that. All you needed were those creases. Just, just like that. Now this part might be a little bit tricky, but what you're going to do is you're going to make a pinch crease right in the middle right there. Just going to fold this point down to that point. You're just making a pinch crease. You're not creasing all the way through. Try to keep all the layers together. That's going to be really important. You just need that little pinch right there. And now you're going to use, you're going to, before you uh, get fold, you're going to fold this into the center. This is, this is a good idea of doing this now. And then just inside reverse fold that. Also, you may have um, this little inconsistency. It's really annoying. But if you want to fix that, you just kind of need to swivel the layer. It's kind of hard for you to see, but I'm just kind of pushing that layer out so that it lines up with the layer behind. I should fix that problem. just closing the gaps and then you can just kind of flatten those out because they might bubble up a little bit there we go now now from the ref the reference that you made by pinch creasing I'm just going to take going to use that now Gonna fold this as far as it will go. Hold on, I'm just gonna make sure that that is the right reference. Yep, right there. Gonna fold, fold these out. This will make, um, this will make, this will be a lot, um, this will make an, a step later in the model a lot easier by doing this. You're also going to fold these, like, these two inside layers out as well. This will, this will make the, a later step really easy, like, really easy compared to not doing this. Like, you don't have to if you're, like, really good, but, like, I highly recommend doing this fold. You're just gonna jet fold this now. You just need these creases right here. Soon all these layers will become like the wings and other stuff. Now you're just gonna open that up. Just gonna and oh fold this flap right here into fourths. Fold almost to the edge, like you don't wanna leave a little bit of room for to compensate for the thickness. And then just fold this up one last time. Now you're just going to unfold all that. These are just pre-creases. 
unfold all of this. You're just going to be doing a lot of unfolding now. You're just you're going to pull here and kind of open up the layers because like I'm just going to pop those these two creases and then reconstruct the paper like how it was not that long ago. Just gonna make this a little bit more even. Whatever, okay. So now you're just going to take this layer, you're just gonna do that fold that we did already, but instead of um, pulling it out like that, you're not gonna do that. You're mainly doing this to lock the layers together. Okay, so now, now that you have this, you're just going to, just going to redo those creases. You're just, you're just going to fold them, fold them back like that. And now you're gonna leave that, you're gonna fold that later. Also, while you're at it, you can make sure that you can look inside. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see if they're even or not. And we got to make sure that they're equal on both sides. And now you're going to take this flap and you're going to fold it in half. This is a pretty important step, a uh, pre-crease. The next fold will be a lot harder without it. You're just gonna fold that in half. You can also take this layer to make sure that you get all of it in half. Just like that. And I can do that to this side. There. So now you're going to use the pre existing creases to fold these flaps behind. Just like just like that. I don't know why that keeps catching there. It shouldn't. And now you're going to flip this over. And you're gonna fold this in. You're gonna and use the cr the crease that we made not that long ago as a reference. You're going to fold this over just like that and then kind of swivel, swivel that piece in half. Okay, so now you can just fold that over and inside, reverse fold that. Now you're gonna pull this flap out to about, so at that intersection right there. That's how far you're gonna pull it out. But you want it to still catch right there, you want it to come to a point there. So that looks good. And then you can either fold this in 
Uh, what I like to do is I like to use that the wing as a reference. You can you can either fold it in like that, or you can leave it as is and then like curl it in later when the model's almost done. Um, I'm gonna fold this in. Actually, no, I'm gonna curl it in later. I'm gonna as curling it in later uh, basically kind of removes something like a step. I'm just gonna do that on this side now. So now what you're going to do is take this flap, fold that out, and then fold that up. It's basically like the same wing as a ripper. I'm just going to fold that down on itself. It's like that. Same rear wings and fins is what I meant to say, not, not wings. Um, And fold that piece up. You could do that to the side now. Okay, now you're just going to unfold all that and reverse fold almost all of that. Now, this side. Also, one, one thing that I discovered that's pretty cool is that you can put this right here and inside reverse fold just this flat, and then it does it for you. See? That's, that's pretty interesting. Now, um, you're going to fold this flap. You can either fold it on the inside, you're just gonna open it up and fold it, but making a pre-crease is a little bit easier. Just kind of fold that up to that point right there. Not point, um, edge. Almost to the edge. If you do it almost to the edge, it's a lot better. Then you can just reverse that crease. There we go. And those are your afterburners. If I can get this in.
There we go. And now uh, you can see how the wings are uh, in its uh, like extended shape. And if you want it to be, if you want it to be the folded in like that, um, if you don't want it to be like that, then just leave it as is. But if you do want the, the variable sweep feature, which I'm surprised if there's anyone that doesn't want the variable sweep feature, just, you're just gonna fold that wing in as far as it will go. And then you're gonna fold it back out um, par parallel to itself. It should, it should be, it should line up with that or it should be really close. Yeah. So. Now that you have this, this, this might be a little bit tricky, but you're going to like, gonna lift this thicker layer up, you're gonna leave the thinner layer behind down. You're just gonna do that. I need tweezers for this part because it's kind of hard to do with fingernails. But I've done it before. You're just gonna lift that up and then you're gonna fold this little tab over. Hmm. I might need this. So It's a little bit difficult getting that tab over. Try doing it like as, as far as it can go. Because the the more tap, the more paper that is folded over, the better, so that it can keep keep locked in place like that. And now it doesn't really move, like this one, which can easily swing out. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that to this side. You can also just kind of fold that over as well. That could also help you. There. Perfect. Now it's locked in place. It doesn't want to swing. Now we can... Uh, we can fold these layers in. If you want, you can like reinforce it by going like that. But like, I'm just gonna put them on the inside because I don't want to bother with them. There we go. Now we can just fold these layers up, you can fold these rear wings and fins up first, and then you can fold up 
um, this assembly. Yeah, it's too much, too much paper that I folded up. Yeah, make sure you don't fold up the part of the fuselage. Like I am accidentally doing. It's really thick up there as well. It's really thick right here, so. Be careful. Oh, that looks good. Now, we can unfold this and jet fold. It might be a little bit difficult because there's a lot of layers that haven't gotten the jet fold crease yet. So, yeah, just kind of work your way to the back, just gently pinching and creasing the parts that need to be folded. There we go. So now we can use the pre-creased locking mechanism, just kind of roll that up. Also, another thing is that it might warp around here, so just, yeah, be careful with that. Kind of shape everything out, just like this. Huh. Pun not intended. Um, and then just kind of curl, curl these, curl these flaps right here, and then put them on the inside. I'm going to use this again. Yeah, so now you can just do that to this one. Kind of curl it. You can curl it up like that. That will be fine. Also, you should crease the back of this like that, just to kind of get the shape. It's kind of, it's a little bit difficult trying to get that flap in there. Oh, that's Jackie. Come on. There we go. That's the second air intake. Um, and now for the afterburners. Just kind of curl those afterburners.
There we go. Now, right now the wings are swept back. If you want to, uh, you can just kind of take them out. Undo the flap. Sometimes you, you don't need to undo it. It just kind of undoes itself. But it locks together for flight. That's pretty good. And just kind of reverse the creases just a, just a tiny bit so that they're straight. All right, I think this is your finished shapeshifter.